Once a valve face and a valve seat have been ground, there can be an imperfection between the two due to the wear of the equipment, the adjusting, uh, the facing of the stones, things like that. So to get a more perfect grind, we can actually lap the two surfaces together so they match. So I won't use that valve, I'll use this valve, which is out of this engine, and it's a little dirtier, so it'll show a bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some lapping compound, and it is a bit of grease with some grit embedded into it. And I'm just gonna put a little dab here and there around the seat, and I don't need much because it's going to all squish out. Now any grit from grinding or from lapping that I get inside this engine has to be cleaned up before the engine goes into service because we don't want grit running around inside our engine. That would be a bad thing. So now we'll put that in and put it in there. Then we take a suction cup spinning tool. Uh, there's a number of different ways you can do this, but uh, this tool works pretty good. And basically we just take our suction cup and we stick it on the valve like this and center it. Now we can lift and drop the valve in and we spin the valve and we lift and we drop and we spin some more. We lift and drop, spin some more. You can hear every time you lift it, you get fresh grinding com compound on the seat and you can feel it and hear it grinding the two surfaces together. And that's getting pretty smooth, so I have a feeling that they've lapped together pretty good. So I will slide that off. You don't pull it off because you can damage it. And we'll take our valve out and we'll clean our grit off and hopefully be able to see our seat. So you can see where that seat ground into the valve and mated the two surfaces together. Now the seat on this valve face is a little wider than I would like, but we didn't actually grind these seats. We we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. Now if I did this on all the valves after grinding the seats and the valve faces, again, I cannot uh, say it often enough, the head is covered in grit. Everything around your station is covered in grit. So be very careful where that grit is getting. If the engine you're working on is right next to you, you're going to contaminate it. So this head is heavily contaminated. We need to put our valves back into their location on a piece of cardboard or stand. And then we need to wash the head very good. Hot soapy water works best because soap grabs the grit particles and takes them away. Whereas if you use a solvent like Varsol or Brake Clean, it only takes the oil away. It doesn't wash away the grit. And we need to get rid of that grit so it doesn't end up the engine. So if we use hot soapy water, a pressure washer, something along that line, then as soon as we're done, while the head is nice and warm, we want to blow dry it real good and put a light dusting of oil like WD-40 or something like that, just so the surface areas that are machined don't rust on us. Once we do all that, everything's clean and dry, now we can reassemble our head. And uh, like any other engine component we assemble, we oil everything. So we put oil down the valve guides, on the valve stem, and make sure that there's plenty of oil on that valve guide. When that engine starts up, it could be a long time before any oil can get down that valve guide. If we put them together dry, the chances of a failure are extremely high. It's very important that there's lubrication there to start with.